Hello. I am Syed Zishan. Welcome to my channel. This video will show you, how to convert USB 2.0 PC to USB 3.0 PC, for rupees 1500 only. I will show you two products from Quantum Zero Company. The first product is PCIe X1 USB 3.0 card. And the second one is USB 3.0 front panel. Now, let's unbox the packing. I bought these products directly from Quantum Zero website. Links are in the description. These are the two products. This is the main card which gives USB 3.0 interface. This card can be inserted either in PCIe X1 slot or X16 slot. It is equipped with two USB ports which come out back of your cabinet. It also has a 20 pin connector extension. This card works with Windows XP, 7, 8, 8.1, 10 and Vista. This card can be used for USB 2.0 and 1.1 also. This is second product which is a extension front panel. Now, let's we open the box and check the content inside. It comes with a driver CD which is an outdated driver. So download the latest driver from the description below. This is the main card, it is covered with an anti-static cover. These are some documentations. A welcome guide and feedback. This is a low profile bracket for small cabins. And two screws. Now let's open the main card from anti-static cover. This is the main card. I will also show you how to install this card on the motherboard. This card has an excellent build quality and looks like premium. The bracket looks sturdy with matte black in color. This is the PCIe X1 interface contact pins. This is the 20 pin connector. Now let's open the front panel. It comes with 4 screws. A welcome guide and a feedback. This is the front panel card. This card is used for extension to use USB 3.0 at front of your cabinet. To install this product, this panel has screw holes on the sides. If your case only has the screw holes for the bottom of the panel, this panel cannot be mounted on. Now let's install the products. Unscrew the screws and open the side door, then, keep it aside. This is the PCIe X1 slot. Earlier I had a problem with my graphic card. It has a frame which closes the X1 slot. So, it was impossible to install a card in X1 slot. That's why I modified the graphic card. I removed the frame which I shown in video and attached the fan directly to aluminium heat fins. Now I have just enough place to insert USB 3.0 card. Now insert the USB 3.0 card in PCIe X1 slot, and fix the screws. Do this carefully and be gentle. Now, let's install the front panel. Before that, we have to remove this plastic cover. There is a small slot inside it. Your PC may have directly small cover. 
Now place the prod panel card into it, and align perfectly to be neat. Fix the screws on both sides. If your card is visible with 4 screw holes, then fix all 4 screws. I have 2 visible screws only. This is the 20 pin male connector which comes from the front panel card. Connect this to the female socket which is on the card. Now take a 4 pin power plug and insert to the card. If you don't have such plug, then buy a converter adapters from local stores. Finally, my graphic cards fan is rotating freely with just a 2 mm gap. Now, assemble all plugs and cords to PC and switch on. Now, I will show you the speed comparisons between USB 3.0 and USB 2.0 using a SanDisk USB 3.0 32GB pen drive. If you wish not to watch comparison video, you can check in the description with average speed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel for more upcoming videos and leave a comment below.